take a look at this. This is the Bison Coffee House in Portland, Oregon. It was vandalized because they were offering, they were planning a coffee with a cop event. The owner is Loretta Guzman, who joins me now. Loretta, obviously you're being intimidated. They wrecked your place because you wanted to have a chat with the cops on your premises. Who's supporting you? Um, right now, my community has really supported me through all of this, and they continue to support me. Those who came and did this were not my community. Um, the fire department um, comes to my coffee house to support me, the local police, the military. So, I mean, I've had a lot of support from just everyone around me, support okay. me for just what to, I was trying to do. I need you to take our viewers through the story here. You proposed to hold an event in your coffee shop uh, saying, look, have coffee with a cop. Enjoy the conversation. You didn't actually hold the event. Was your place wrecked as soon as you announced it? Um, I was getting ready to... Well, I posted it that evening. I think it was probably about 7-something, and about 2.47 in the morning, they came and busted out all my windows. Um, I posted it on Instagram. And uh, so we just... I came in and started cleaning right away, and friends and family in the community just came in and started helping me so I could still host the event. I just hosted everything from our walk-up window, and had, the whole inside was closed at the time, but people just came and helped me so that I could still uh, host coffee with a cop. So you're not leaving. You're staying. No, I don't... I'm not leaving. I'm going to stay. Do you get any help from any of the authorities on either cleaning up or paying for what happened? Um, yes, the police stayed here while I went home to go change. They started sweeping up glass, and um, more police came, and they just started helping to clean up the glass while I went and changed. And then I had called people, and people started coming, showing up to help. But also people from the streets started showing up and just, like, can I help? Can I help? And they just came in and started helping. That's a wonderful thing. Loretta, you're a brave lady, and thank you very much indeed for being on the show today and standing up for what's right. We appreciate that. We really do. Thank Loretta you. Guzman, thanks a lot.